Reine from Stormbringer Magazine, a great pleasure to have Joey Belladonna from Antrix here. Joey, very cold day today in Munich, how are you doing? Yeah, it's cool, just like up north where I live, you know, it's very, very chilly, but hey, it's that time of the year, you know, you got to be ready for it. Um, Joey, you've toured with nearly any of the really big, I mean, really big bands in the metal business. Right now you are supporting Motorhead. Is it still something kind of special to open for an iconic person like Lammy? Oh yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, we're friends with him and everything, and we have a lot of laughs together. And it's, you know, it's an honor to be in, in the building together and to make music and have a great night and a sold-out show. And, you know, it's, it's all what we do, and it's, it's part of the fun, you know, and the adventure of being in a band, you know. Um, Charlie is at home taking care of some personnel. Uh, stuff so you tap John uh, for John DT, yeah. ex Testament. He played in Slayer. Right now he is in Animetal USA. So uh, how's John doing on this tour? Are you having fun? Is he doing? A, is a good substitute for Charlie? Yeah, John's great. He plays well. Mickey's good too, actually. Yeah, the best uh, in the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> best drum in the world. Uh, John is really good. Uh, I, I like getting along with John. He's you know, hey. To fit Charlie's, you know, situation, it's it's nice to have anybody that can actually play and do it, you know. So we're we're happy about that. You know, of course, we'd rather have Charlie here, you know. So, um, at the cl classic rock and roll of honor, Avat Gala, two weeks or three weeks ago, uh, Antrex were uh, honored with the Metal Guru Award. Uh, how was it for you and for the band? To get such a award, as far as I know, Lammy in person gave you this award in, in the sh at the show. Yeah, you know, I mean, to be a, on any kind of show like that and get a, any award, I, I guess, I don't know if I take a lot of stock in it, but it's really nice to have uh, an invite to a show like that to just sit down and, and be around people like Jeff Beck and, you know, Billy Gibbons and, you know, Steve Lucas from Toto or any, any of these people. Like, God, there was Rick Wakeman there. And, But it's nice, you know. It's nice to have a uh, a spot. I mean, the, uh, I guess the category guru, it's it's different. Makes me wonder, like, huh? Makes me wonder. What is a metal yeah. guru? Well, we're the, you know, we're I guess we're the high gurus. No, it would be nice if it was something like best new band or best band with a vocal or you know guitarist or bassist or that kind of thing. But whatever. It, it was a fun night out. You know, it was really nice. Um. Antrex has been through a lot of crap in their career. I mean, as any band, of course, in a 30-year span. Uh, would you go so far to say that the chemistry now within the band is the best that you can remember? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've always been uh, one to keep a focus on what's going on and how to do it. I, yeah, obviously, at this point, everybody's, you know, the, the, the road of success is to be uh, together and make it efficient so you can carry through versus being so indecisive and you know not showing up or wanting to be with each other I mean we really musically and uh, the whole path of being in a in this band at this point is really strong you know if that makes any sense you were recently in the studio uh, recording some cover versions from Rush, Boston, and stuff like that. Uh, do you have any updates when this special edition from Worship Music with the cover EP will come out and which song we would, uh, can hear? As far as I know, you also talked about the Journey song, Neon Knights from Black Sabbath, or TNT from yeah, ACDC. We got all of them. We did that, Jailbreak. We did uh, Chief Trick, Big Eyes, Anthem, uh, Rush, uh, Keep On Running, Journey, and Boston Smoking. Uh, you know, hey, we're going to put it out uh, probably next year sometime. I don't know any date at, at offhand, but it's almost finished. You know, we haven't, we haven't mixed it yet, but uh, everything musically is done. Was it fun in the studio playing yeah. this? It's easy for me. I, I, I know that I've never sang most of those songs. I've done a lot of Rush around, a lot of Journey, a lot of Boston, but I, those particular songs I never did. Well, I, although I've done TNT and Jailbreak before, but... For me, it was a lot of fun just to bust out that stuff. I mean, I, I got a cover band at home. I do 80 of those songs a night, that type of stuff, and, and 10 times more of it, you know, Pink Floyd, The Who, and Zeppelin, and all that stuff. So I love it. I, I, I have fun. I hope people dig it. You know, I hope people are very 
you know, open to hearing us do some of this stuff because it's, it's pretty cool, you know, definitely is. Speaking about worship music, the it had just positive reactions. Ladies and gentlemen, Shit. the best drummer in the world. No, no, I wouldn't say. <laughs> here, here we have it. Here we have it. He's the best I hope he's not, uh, you know, saying a bunch of embarrassing yeah, stuff about well, the tour. I've, I've just mentioned Mickey How twice. He's barely so selling it. You, Andrix didn't get a good sound from Motorhead and stuff like that. <laughs> no, but this is a great package though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fun, a fun one. It's a, it's a double commission tour, what they call it. Right? It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It's live. <laughs> um, let's get back to worship music. It's just positive reaction from the fans. I mean, the album charted at number 12 in the Billboard charts. It sold more than three times than We've Come For You All. Uh, I mean, there were eight years between those two albums. Of course, the last one you weren't part of. Uh, did you expect that people, again, uh, digging in so massive in Antrix? Well, I, I don't think the band went away or anything. It's just so much the changing of singers and stuff like that. It was kind of a, you know, whatever. I don't know. I, I just never never saw what that was and why that was. But, you know, at this point in time, as long as we do something quality, I think everybody's open arms to what we got going on. Bella. See? We got them all coming and people are coming in from all We had the best drummer, now I had one of the best bass players. See? Right on, man. I mean, but again, you know, I think everybody's really open to what we're doing. And, uh, you know, as long as we deliver what we do, uh, that's, I mean, anything new from any band right now is really important. If it's going to be good quality, it's, that's very important, you know. So, and I think we have that in us to do musically. We've got a lot of great ideas and talent wise, I think. It's as strong as ever, you know. But the fans will not have to wait another eight years for another studio album. Uh, you know what? If, if it was for me, I'd be on it tonight. I'd work on some new stuff. But you know, it's not for me to say. I, I, I'm certainly hope so. I, I, we've talked about it. I mean, I hope that uh, it won't take that long. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, maybe for the better that it took them that long, so they didn't have to put out what they were going to put out until I got back. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Okay. Joe, thanks for your time. Have fun of the rest of the tour. It's always a pleasure having you here.